Hello Sagittarius, how's it going? I hope you're very well. My name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a new love reading for like December, January, you know. Um, but it is, a, you know, a timeless reading, Sag, so whenever you happen to get it is when, you know, when you were meant to see it. You are very, very welcome here, Sag. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I really appreciate it. And if you find the reading resonates with you at all, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would be very grateful and appreciate that a lot. And there's going to be an extended reading for this as well, Sag. I'll leave the information for that at the end in case you're interested. Okay, so this is a new love reading. So this can be someone you've already met, or it can be someone you've yet to meet. But it's probably not going to be about your ex, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, new love, new relationships. So, spirit. What do you want Sagittarius to know about new love? Three of Wands. And the Three of Cups, interesting. You've waited a long time for this. You've been very patient. You, Some of you might have two people coming towards you, but you have a celebration coming towards you, okay? Three of Wands, Three of Cups. Your ships are about to come in. And you're about, you know what? This is gonna be fun. It's going to be a fun relationship that comes in for you now. Like this is going to be about, you know, maybe your last relationship was all drama. You know, those people that bring unnecessary drama for absolutely no reason at all. This new relationship is not going to be like that. This is going to be fun. This is dating. Someone you can have a laugh with. Someone you actually want to spend time with. Page of Wands could be another Sagittarius. What else have we got here? Wow. <laughs> okay, you are going to be very, very attracted to this person. Um, this person could be a mother for some of you. They could be another Sagittarius. I said that already. So you have the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Empress. So they could be a Taurus or a Libra. Oh my god, you're going to be so attracted to this person. They could also be a Pisces, High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. They could be like um, someone kind of spiritual, like, I don't know, a Reiki healer or... I don't know, just someone who's kind of psychic or they read tarot or they're just kind of intuitive or something like that. But, yeah. This feels very new. This person coming in is like no one you've ever dealt with before. Uh, you know, I don't know if you've been in a kind of slump at the moment where you're like, oh my God, like everybody's such a bastard. <laughs> everybody's such a loser. Like, or you know, you've just been not wanting to date or you just weren't even thinking about it. <laughs> you, that's about to change. Um, this person, is, it's almost like they're going to wake you up from a slumber. You know, the page of wands, like, this, they're going to inspire you. This person is going to really inspire you. Um, like I said, with the Empress, you know, they could, they could already be a mother, but um, you're going to be very, very attracted to this person. For some of you, this is your divine feminine coming in. Let's just clarify a bit here, <clears throat> Sag. Um, for some of you, there's a pregnancy in the future here, okay, with the Ace of Wands and the Empress. Ten of Cups, yeah, this is really your ships coming in now. I feel like you want to settle down, you know, for most of you, I feel like you're kind of looking to, that's, 
what do you want me to do with that spirit that's like half the deck um i feel like you're looking for something serious now you know the majority of you are kind of like okay it's time now like this is what i'm looking for because you have the three of wands with the ten of cups Okay, um, some of you might have been in a third party situation in the past that you are moving away from now. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo. That's interesting that you have the, the suns come out with the moon. So it's like you've kind of been in. I just want to see what these cards are, Sage. Yeah, you have the sun with the moon here, so it's like you've kind of been in this state of, you know, ugh, like the state of kind of confusion where you were like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> like, am I just destined to wander the earth alone like the Incredible Hulk forever? Like, what's happening here? And I feel like also this person kind of comes out of the blue a little bit. Like you're kind of blindsided because it's like one minute you're just in the moon, you're just kind of muddling along, not really knowing what the hell's going on. And then suddenly this person just, you know, lightens up your life. They just bring all this sunshine and happiness into your life. You might have walked away from someone that was kind of childish. Yeah, this is a commitment coming in. Um, you could have walked away from a Pisces in the past, or you could have walked away from a younger water sign, or they could just have been a bit childish, Sag. And see, again, there's this moon. So I feel like you were kind of intuitively guided to walk away from this person, even though you didn't know what you were walking towards. And I feel like you've been in this Four of Swords kind of, uh, you know, taking a break, kind of R&R. &R. You know, taking a break from the dating scene, whether you wanted to or not. And then there's this commitment coming in. Ten of Pentacles. Please, Spirit. Oh my God, the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups and the world. Well, well, holy shit balls. Um, you have been dealing with this Five of Swords energy crap. But you're moving towards the Six of Swords. So the Five of Swords is, I don't there's, um, for some of you, obviously this isn't going to be for all of you, but for some of you, you are dealing with a third party situation that you, you've just walked away from. You're just like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. You can't give me what I want, which is this Ten of Cups this commitment, this fulfillment with someone, you can't give me what I want. For others of you, you've just been dealing with, I don't know if this is just like a person who is a complete black hole, you know, just someone that it's like, you, literally like a black hole, you know, just someone that kind of likes to play the victim, you know, you just, you could give them all the money and all the time and all the love that you have in the world and it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference because they just, it's almost like they choose to just be a prick <laughs> and just do stupid things and you're like well I can't I can't really help you <laughs> like if you don't want to be helped I can't help you um I feel like some of you have walked away from that and this is what you're headed towards that's what I was trying to say like the three of cups you know it's there's no drama it's just happiness it's like hanging out you know going for drinks going for dinner just being happy you know cooking meals together, just hanging out and being happy. Um, whereas this Five of Swords is always like, 
there's always some kind of drama. You know, you could have been dealing with a narcissist, you could have been dealing with someone who was like, like I said, just like a black hole. It didn't matter what you did for them, they were always just a mess. Um, you know, someone who was emotionally manipulative, played games, ghosted you, you know, led you on, this kind of thing, and you, you're just like, nah, just done. I'm done. Done with your crap. <clears throat> like, there's no point anymore. You know, with the, the Five of Swords, it's just an empty, empty battle. You know, there's just no point. But you're moving into this, the Six of Swords. So you're moving on from the Five towards the Six, which is happiness, contentment, peace. You know, there's no drama. Um, you have the Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Cups. This is something really beautiful coming towards you, Sag. Like, really, really beautiful. Um, you know, it, it has everything. This relationship has everything that you want. I feel if there is two people in your life, it's going to be one of them is the old person coming back and the, then the other one is this new person. Um, but I feel like this new person is really new for a lot of you. You know, I feel like it's it's maybe someone brand new, like you've never met them before. Or, you know, when you're watching this, maybe you've already met them, but it's not someone from your past. Do you know what I mean? Because often when you're talking about this, like the Six of Cups comes out and you, then it's like someone from your childhood or someone you already know, but I feel like this is somebody brand new. And the awesome thing about this is you're going to be really, really attracted to them, but also with the Ace of Cups, there's genuinely a lot of love here. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> like you're genuinely, I think you're going to fall in love with this person quite quick. Like there's genuinely a lot of love here on both sides. This person has everything you want with the Ten of Cups. You know, you were looking for, the, you know, longevity, happiness, commitment, and you're going to get it. Because that's the sun as well. The Ten of Cups, the sun, and the world, this is going to be something long term. For many of you, there's a child involved in your future. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, Saj. This person's a very happy energy with the sun. Like, just the difference between this, you know, this is, this is what you've been dealing with in the past. See how it's all grey and just blah. And then you have the sun, you know, it's all happy and positive and it brings you, it makes you warm, you know, because I feel like in this card it's all raining and it's gross and then in the sun, you know, it's like I'm all warm and happy. Like, what is this? I've not, I don't, it's hard to remember what this feels like. Um, yeah, they're just going to make you really happy. And there's a commitment here. Did I say Leo? You might be dealing with a Leo that's coming in. Don't get too hung up on the signs though, you know, because um, often, you know, it can be your person and their sign doesn't come up, you know what I mean? Because they, maybe, they, maybe you know they're a Leo, but they identify more as like, I don't know, a Taurus or something because it's their rising or something like this, you know. <clears throat> but um, yeah, with the Empress, like this person's very abundant. You know, they're very happy, abundant, stable. This person is very, very stable. You know, they're very content within themselves, which I would say this person you were dealing with in the past, they really were not, you know, because I'm sorry, but people who are content within themselves, they don't do this kind of awful, you know, mind games, like emotional manipulation, you know what I mean? Like psychopath stuff <laughs> um, or whatever, maybe that's harsh, I don't know. <laughs> um, but you know, the Empress, this is not, you're dealing with, like, this, they're, they're night and day, night and day. Um, you know, the Empress, like I said, she's very balanced, she's very self-content, um, she has a lot of self-love, which in turn means she can kind of give it to you. You know, so I feel like in the past you were dealing with somebody that needed a lot of attention, you know, kind of like a childish energy, they needed a lot of attention from you. This person's not like that, you know. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't give them attention. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, they don't, it's not going to be that kind of 
crazed, always trying to get your attention sort of thing. I'm just going to put my slippers on. Hold on, Saj. I'm sorry, Saj. I took my slippers off earlier and then realized that was bold because it's still freezing. So you have the Empress with the world. So you're re this person that's coming in, there's really a very strong sense of contentment with this person. Like they're going to make you feel like you're home. Um, they might be from somewhere else, like they could be very well traveled or they might actually be from a different country or something like that. The world is also Capricorn energy, but I just did a reading for Gemini and they had this in the same place, I think. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini, but um, yeah, this is the one. This is the one that you're going to end up with, like, because, you know, the world, this is, you're very much moving into the next phase with this, this person, like the next phase of your life. You're closing down, um, <clears throat> you're closing down like an old cycle of blech and moving into something much more peaceful. You might actually move with this person as well. You know, this is one of the the reward cards in the tarot. You know, it's one of the accomplishment cards. It indicates that you've achieved, you know, you're, you're, you've achieved a certain level. Like you're moving up to the next level of the game. You know, if you were talking about like a computer game, the world is like you've moved up. <laughs> you know, you beat the boss and you've moved up to the next level. And so it's, you should be very proud of what you've managed to achieve. Sagittarius, even though you might be feeling at the moment where you're like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <clears throat> you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who I'm going to end up with. But you, this is a huge accomplishment here, you know. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So that this is moving on from always not knowing what's happening. <clears throat> Sorry, but... um. With the Five of Swords, like, you know, this is the kind of energy where somebody always kept you guessing. You know, they always kept you guessing, you never knew where you stood with them. Lots of sleepless nights. If this is not a person, this can also be talking about a sort of headspace that you got yourself into, you know. You could also be moving away from, you might be leaving some friends and family behind. You know, if there was any friends and family in your life that were sabotaging you in some way, like you might discover this and you might be moving away from them. <clears throat> but yeah, the five of swords, this can be a headspace that you're moving away from, you know, so you might be closing down a past chapter just in regards to anything, you know, it doesn't even have to be about a love affair. And there's this offer coming in, this Ace of Pentacles, the offer of a new beginning. So, <clears throat> can I have a card, please? Okay, for the outcome. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to take two, actually, because I know they're supposed to work together. Um, we're actually going to take three. You have the Four of Swords with the Ace of Swords. So... <clears throat> if this is a particular person that you're like this new person if this is someone new that you're already aware of and you guys have been in separation that's going to end okay because you have the ace of swords so you have a conversation coming towards you if that's the case but i'm talking about the new person that's not going to be from this past person this is from the new person the communication comes in the old person might talk to you too, but who cares, you know, <laughs> this is a new love reading. Um, four of Swords, so you might be single for a little while longer, but I assure you there is love coming with this Ace of Swords. There's a breakthrough, you know, and I'm not sure if this Four of Swords is like self-imposed, like you want to be single for a while, or it's kind of been, you know, thrust upon you by the universe, but it's not going to be for much longer. You have three aces in this reading. You only have 12 cards here and three of them are aces. <laughs> so you, you have something, there's a breakthrough here, you know, you have something new coming towards you. 
<clears throat> you have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, like I said, don't get too hung up on the signs, but it could be a Capricorn, could be a Virgo coming towards you. Um, they're kind of slow moving, whoever this person is. They might be a little slow moving, this new person, but they are very, very um, methodical. They're very stable, very, very stable. Very, very different to um, what you were dealing with in the past, you know. Something's going to change quite suddenly. It's going to catch you off guard a little bit. <clears throat> there might be a little bit of a time, there might be a little bit of a delay in meeting this person because you have to get out of this um, Queen of Wands energy where, with the Ten of Wands and the Devil where you're kind of carrying around baggage from the past and I totally understand why. I'm not slagging you off. It's just that there might be a little bit of a delay while you purge that stuff, you know. <clears throat> and it's not like a punishment, you know. It's just, you're going to know when it's the right time, you know. You're not going to have to look for this person because they're just going to appear, I think. You know, so you don't even have to worry. So, I'm going to move into the extended reading. Um, am I? We're going to do an extended, we might just do a long Sagittarius reading. So I was going to do an extended reading for this Sag, but I think I'm actually just going to pull some cards and just make this the extended. Um, so let's start off with some characteristics. So Spirit, what would you like Sag to know about this new person coming in? Okay, so you have very clean so this person is very clean. What else, please? What would you like Sag to know about this person? Yeah, patient. Knight of Pentacles energy, so they're very patient, very methodical. What else would you like Sag to know about this person coming in, please? Okay, they might have blonde hair. Just gonna clear some space here. <clears throat> okay, um, what else please for Sag? What would you like Sag to know about this person coming in? So they're strong. This person is strong. So I don't know if that is to do, they might be physically very strong, like they might be big and muscly, um, or they might be like emotionally strong. Oh, charismatic. So this person is very charismatic who's coming in. <clears throat> what else please? What would you like Sag to know about this person coming in? You have caring and you have earth sign, so they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, or they could have that as like rising sign or they could have it as like a moon sign or something. And you have caring. So this person seems to be quite nurturing. Um, with earth sign, they could also just be very responsible. You know what I mean? You have driven. So this person is very driven. protective, very protective energy. So they're going to be very protective of you, Sag, which I feel is very different than who you were dealing with in the past. Um, yeah, you have independent, so they're very independent energy. So they won't be relying on you for a lot of stuff. You have straight shooter, so they're honest. 
And let's get one more. You guys <clears throat> complement each other. So you guys kind of complete each other. Um, <coughs> like things that you have, you know this person might lack and vice versa, you know. But you guys are going to go very well together, you know, like because you're quite fiery, like this person, they might be very stable. You know, you might want to move fast, but this person, I think they're very methodical, very patient. They might want to move quite slow, you know. What else, please? You're fun, you're feisty, and you have intelligent, and let's get one more, outgoing and playful at the bottom of the deck. So there's going to be like a deep bond with this person, I would say fairly quickly. You have fun. Yeah, so like I was saying earlier, there's not going to be a lot of drama and stuff with this person. You're actually going to be able to have fun with them. You know, they're still quite feisty, which is nice. So they're, they're, they have this like nice kind of um, balance of being like very responsible, like very honest. You know, they're going to be very protective of you. They're very driven, um, but they're also, you know, they're independent and they're feisty. You have intelligence. So this person is very intelligent as well. So they'll get along very well with you, Sag, and you have outgoing. So they're a really nice mixture. Like this person is a really, really nice mixture of qualities. Okay. So we're going to do some cards for how this person feels about you or how they will feel about you. Let's just get, yeah, see, there's like a waiting period here. You have the hanged man with the knight of pentacles. So I feel like they're going to be kind of slow because they are very methodical. They want to do it right. They want to take their time. They're very romantic though. Very stable, but also very romantic. It's interesting because the same kind of person kind of came out for Gemini. And um, like, I find that does tend to happen with the, um, oh, I've forgotten the word, but you know the signs that are similar, the mutable signs, you know, there's always some elements of the signs that are kind of similar. All right, so how does this person feel about Sagittarius? Nine of Swords. So they think you're a warrior. This person thinks you're like a warrior, basically. Okay, how do they feel about Sagittarius? The Magician. You have the Eight of Cups. So they might be very aware that you've walked away from someone. I feel like this person will be aware that you started over. You know what I mean? That you're looking for a new start. You have the Queen of Swords. You have the Eight of Swords. The Hermit. Yeah, the Fool. The Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, 
<clears throat> and the Six of Cups. So you might actually meet this person when you're in <clears throat> something of a dark night of the soul type energy, or you're just at least in like hermit energy where you're maybe kind of taking some time out, you're thinking about what it is you want from a relationship. You know, you might meet this person when you're in a period of like self-reflection. <clears throat> um, but they see that you're wanting a fresh start, you know, with the fool and the magician. <clears throat> this person is seeing that you want a fresh start. Like they're seeing that you're ready. I think they're very aware that for some of you, you've walked away for some, from something. Some of you might have walked away from a ten of cups, like not a ten of cups, but a long term situation. But I feel like this is more, you've left something behind because you're looking for this ten of cups. And they might, there's going to be a conversation I think fairly early on. For some of you this, this could be a friend that you meet and you're friends initially and you end up telling this person like, I, oh, you know, like I left someone behind because I'm looking for this Ten of Cups and they can't give it to me. Because you are looking for this Ten of Cups, like you're looking for this happiness. You're looking for someone that's actually got the capacity to support you, like, you know, to support a future with you. You know, I don't mean in terms of money. I mean, like in terms of emotional stability, that this person's actually grown up enough to do that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> They're aware that you might have a little bit of a block here, the Queen of Swords with the Eight of Wands. They do see you as being an excellent communicator. So um, that might be something to do with the way that you meet, you know, um, if some of you have a job in communication or you're a writer, like you guys might meet, I don't want to say online, but um, yeah, you might, for some of you, maybe you just need to hear this, that it's going to be something to do with communication, is the way that you meet, like through YouTube or like through writing or teaching or something like that. But they see you with the Queen of Swords, like they see you, like your back is kind of up a little bit. You're a little bit defensive because of things that have gone on in your past. But they're very quickly going to clear that block <laughs> with the Eight of Wands. Um, they're very, very quickly going to clear that block. Because the thing is, I feel like this block has only recently just gone up, you know? Because you guys, like Sagittarius are usually very open people, like you don't kind of get bitter quickly, you're not one of those, not that there's any signs that hold grudges really, but um, you know Sagittarius are such a fun energy and you guys, you are mutable, you know, so it's like you're quite adaptable to things, so I feel like, I always feel like with Sagittarius, like, there's just this sort of you, you, it's, it's quite hard to offend a Sagittarius, you know what I mean? Really, like you guys are so fun and so lovely. Um, but I feel like when you meet this person, this wall will have gone up quite recently. So I feel like it doesn't take them long to help you release it. And there's something here, this person's aware of maybe when you meet them, you're still a little bit stuck on someone from your past or you feel like you can't move forward because of someone from your past. You know, but this person is going to be very patient with you, Sag. Yeah, they're aware that you've moved on from something. They're aware of it. And they, they want to offer you this, this new beginning, but... Um, Yeah. What else, please? How does this person feel about Sag? How are they going to feel about Sag? Forgiveness, yeah. Stop focusing your energy on past events. 
for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. So they're going to be aware. I don't know if like when you meet this person, you've recently walked away from this person in your past, but they're going to see that you're kind of just in that cusp. You know, when you meet, you might be kind of focused on the past, but you won't be for very long, you know. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So this person is just gonna think you're the nuts, <laughs> you know. They're gonna see this connection with you as something very sacred and they're gonna treasure it. Whoa, that came out really quick. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your life, your understanding of life and love. So, this person, they're going to want you to choose them. But, you know, I think they understand that you do have, like this thing in the past really kind of did a number on you, you know, but they want you to choose them. <clears throat> they also want you to know that this person from your past was a lesson. So it's not... It wasn't your fault that it didn't work out, this person from the past. Like, you couldn't have done anything better to make it work. It was just one of those things that's just a lesson. And it doesn't mean that there's something defective with you. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. You know, that's what they want you to know. Like, stop thinking about the past. Because this person's gonna, they're gonna know that they want, that you guys are supposed to be together. Um, it's important to take a step back right now and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So yeah, when you meet this person, you might actually be in like this kind of solitude hermit mode and they're going to give you that time. You know, they're not going to push you, they're not going to harass you because they're aware that you've been through something. This person is going to want to give you their heart, the Six of Cups. Um, but initially you're going to be a bit kind of trapped in the past, you know, but they're okay with you taking a bit of time to get it, you know, get it sorted, get it purged. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So they're not going to rush you into this, you know, maybe it's you that wants to rush and they're like, whoa, hold on a minute. Um, you know, let's just take our time. I know you've been through a lot of shit in your past, but this person, they're not going to rush you. What else, please? How's this person going to feel about Sag? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Um, so this person is kind of wanting you to love yourself as you are. Because I feel, there's, it's like you feel like you're defective or you did something wrong with this past person and that's why it didn't work out. But no, there's this, this new person that's coming in is saying no. Like there's nothing wrong with you, you know, and I'm saying it too. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with you. It didn't work out because it was a lesson, you know, there was, I mean, with that five of swords energy, there's nothing you can do with a person that's a five of swords. There just isn't. They have to learn to look after themselves. They have to, you know, some of them never learn because they don't want to. So you would have just wasted your life with this person. And you weren't meant to do that, you know? You aren't meant to be unhappy. Um, what else, please, Spirit? What else would, how does this person feel about Sag? New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So this person's all over this. <laughs> um, they really see this new beginning with you. 
they're very passionate about it. They see this whole thing as an adventure, but they're not going to rush. I really like this energy, Sag. They seem very, very balanced. Okay, so we're going to do um, the potential outcome of this situation, of this connection. I'm going to go into it a bit more. Let's just shuffle the deck. This person is showing up as an emperor or an empress. Basically, they're your divine partner. This person is coming in now. All right, so what is the, what would you like Sag to know about the outcome of this connection? The Tower, Queen of Pentacles, the Death card, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Sun. Yeah, they're just going to appear out of nowhere. The Moon, right, you got some subconscious fears here um, that need to be grounded. You could have been dealing with a, an air sign in your past, a Tor um, Taurus, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Judgment and the Ace of Swords. So Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person will offer you love. Very sweet love. They're very romantic. They're very open. Um, very genuine person. They have no guile. This person will come into your life out of nowhere. <laughs> one day you will know this person the next you will not although obviously that's how that works with everyone so uh, yeah <laughs> but they're just going to come into your life out of nowhere and just make you really happy basically really like overnight just overnight it's interesting because you have the sun again next to the moon um with this queen of pentacles here so you have some what's that focused there we go. You have some subconscious fears here that you need to ground with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I don't know if this person triggers them. I don't know if this is stuff. This is stuff that um, you didn't even realize you had. This could go way back. This could be to do with like just this person that you've been dealing with before. Could go way back to childhood. But you have, there's some subconscious fears that you don't deal with until you meet this person. And when you do meet them, the tower, they change things, they trigger things in you, okay? Because sometimes when, when you're stuck in a time warp of crap, you, you, you don't need to deal with your subconscious fears because you're, you're still stuck in this loop of meeting the same losers over and over again. But... When you meet this new person, the sun, whoever they are, there's going to be this like, oh my god, I could actually be happy here. What the hell? Am I actually going to get to be happy? And it, it triggers all the in um, insecurities that come up. Can I actually be with a person like this? Can I actually have a normal life with someone like this? Am I actually able to be with someone normal that's not going to take from me. Am I actually able to accept love from someone? All this kind of stuff. Because when you've been dealing with someone that's take, take, take all the time, you don't have to deal with that stuff because you're so busy giving so much of yourself and take, you know, you're giving this person so much, you don't ever have to think about that. So I think there's some, a little bit of subconscious fears, anxieties that you have to ground after you meet this person. Um, I don't know if you were dealing with this King of Swords in your past, 
which could be it might have been a Virgo for some of you. You might have been dealing with a Virgo in your past. Um, or it could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But there's some kind of ending with this King of Swords. Um, this could also be an ending of you kind of protecting yourself too much. But there's like a new beginning coming in. You know, because you can't have the sun here doesn't come without the death in tarot, right? You can't have one without the other. Um, but there's this death of, I don't know if you, I think you were dealing with someone in the past that was really not great with expressing emotions. Whether that was done deliberately to keep you on your toes to keep you giving or because they physically weren't able to um, because of something from their past. You know, the King of Swords energy, it's dealing with someone that is like, they're, they're crap at expressing emotions either because they don't want to or just because they're not good at it, you know, but there's an ending to that with this new person coming in. You may well meet this person at an evening class, like some kind of arts evening class or something like that. But you're going to feel very, very called towards this person with the judgment and the three of pentacles. You're going to feel very, very called. I think there's going to be a mix because you are used to kind of gung-ho charging into things right and I say that with love I'm a Gemini <laughs> you know but I think you're gonna it's gonna frustrate you I think initially that it's moving slowly but actually I think you're gonna like it because you're gonna feel called to build something very solid with this person from a very stable base um, and there's gonna be like a knowing that in order to do that, you have to shed a lot of this crap from the past. So that's that may be where this delay comes in. You know, you might meet this person and then you guys might be friends for a while or you might meet them and then you might separate for a while. And it's something to do with this desire. Like it has to be done properly. And you're both aware of that. And there's this, you have victory here with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is victory over obstacles. This is a breakthrough. This is triumph. You know, the Ace of Swords is like, this is something new. You've never dealt with anyone like this before. And one more for the outcome, please, Spirit. One more for the outcome. I don't know which one that was. One more for the outcome, please, Spirit. Yeah, that's the one that wanted to come out before. I just want to say something about this quote that I have up there. You might feel a bit stupid because you got played in the past or something like that by this person. You know, maybe you pride yourself on, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I fell for that shit with this person. But the Five of Swords is a master manipulator, okay? Often they got that way because of survival. They had to. They had to be like that to survive. You know, think, I don't know, Oliver Twist or something like that, right? Um, you don't need to, you didn't do anything wrong. I think you need to forgive yourself for, for some of you anyway, I think you need to forgive yourself for spending time with this person because you're kind of annoyed with yourself that you didn't see through their bullshit, but nobody does, I think, with this person. And it's because you're nice. You know, I feel like you wanted to help this person and you just got a bit played, you know. We've all been there. 
but I feel like this person, you know, the five of swords, like I said, that's like a master manipulator. You might have actually been dealing with an actual, like someone with a personality disorder or something, but yeah, the star keeps wanting to come out for your outcome. Um, you know, this is healing. Um, it kind of wants to come out with the, the five of wands. So it's healing of chaos. There's going to be a lot of peace that comes in with this new relationship, you know. Um, the star is wish fulfillment. This is a wish fulfillment coming in here. And again, the star is another com um, accomplishment card. You know, the star comes after you have completed a karmic cycle. So this is a wish fulfillment coming in here. And it's going to heal a lot of the chaos and a lot of the things that have felt really up in the air for a long time, you're going to have a lot of peace with this person. They could be an Aquarius, um, they could be a Leo. I just want to pull one oracle card for you guys, which can be about anything in your life, doesn't have to be about love. So Spirit, what would you like Sagittarius to know? The Mermaid, number 10. I have not seen this card before. Isn't she cute? This is the um, Tattooed Lady Oracle. I just love it. The colors are beautiful. So number 10, let's see here. Mystery, independence, allure, temptation. So, this could be referring to your person, but this can also be referring to your life at the moment. You do have this mystery. Things in your life at the moment, they may seem, because that moon card came out earlier, you know, and you have this five of wands here. It makes me think you're kind of in this period where you're like, what the hell is going on? Why am I still single? Like, you know, why haven't I met anyone? Why did it not work out with this past person? Is the past person coming back? Oh my God, what's happening? Um, there might also be some like allure, like a temptation with this person from your past. But you know, this mermaid it is a siren song, you know? Um, think about how many sailors were lured to their death. <laughs> you know, um, by mermaids, you know, um, so this person from your past, because I do feel there's still a bit of a pull with this person, they might be very tempting, but I think there is a lesson to be learned from this person from your past, you know, because I feel there's a codependent thing going on with this person from your past, which is like, this could also be about family members or friends or something, but you know, the codependent thing is one person's always taking and the other person's always giving. So it's kind of tempting to be pulled back into that thing, kind of dynamic when that is what you're used to. But this is actually about you being happy. This is about you learning to be happy. And you also have independence here. So there is something here about learning independence like learning how to be happy on your own with, without when you're not constantly giving to someone else you know what I mean Saj making space for yourself to do the things that are important to you to do the things that matter to you rather than just being you know as somebody else's beck and call because that's not what you're here for you know that's not love <laughs> sorry but it's not um and this new person is not going to do that you know so it's like I think they're giving you a bit of time here to kind of um, heal from that before this new person comes in, you know. So I'm going to leave it there, Sag. I hope this was a helpful reading. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. It's an absolute pleasure to read for you. If it did resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. Take care, Sag. Lots of love.